So there's some stuff with this that I don't quite agree with. I just made a guide on how to go off-grid with solar for under $300, and I asked ChatGPT to make me this diagram. So they started with a 100-watt 12-volt panel, which is fine. That's great. 10-amp charge controller, again, that's good. And then a 100-amp-hour battery, that would work, okay? So we have the positive and the negative wires, the red and the black. We're good so far. The only little issue is that it could take up to a week to charge a 100-amp-hour battery with only a 100-watt panel, which that's okay. It's just going to take forever to charge if it's cloudy, and that's assuming you're not using any of the battery power. And here's where it gets a little bit weird. It says 100 or 1000 watt inverter. If you're going to use a 1000 watt inverter on an appliance, like it says, you're going to drain that battery in an hour. So it's going to take a week to charge the battery so that you can turn on the inverter for an hour. So in this scenario, I would definitely recommend way more solar panels for a 100 amp hour battery, especially with a 1000 watt inverter on it. And then at the very end of the diagram, it has just the black negative wire and then just the black positive wire, which is obviously not going to work at all. But if you're interested in going off grid with solar, just shoot me a message. I'll send you the guide and I'll send you what you need to get started.